Thank you uh, for invitation and uh, my talk is about uh, how to uh, construct uh, good short codes uh, that can be decoded efficiently with uh, OSD-like uh, decoder decoders. So here is the outline. So first, we can see a binary linear block code of length n and the dimension k, and the parity check matrix and the generator matrix is uh, is available. We can see a discrete time memoryless channel. So let C be the transmitted code word, and the Y is a received vector. Then we can calculate the log likelihood rich vector, so which is a sufficient statistics for decoding. So we can have the hard decision vector uh, depending on uh, the LLRs. So the maximum likelihood decoding is to find a code word with star such that the uh, likelihood is maximized. Okay. So we know the syndrome, which is computable, and we can define the error pattern. And for any vector, we can define a soft weight, uh, which is a submission of the reliability. <clears throat> so we know, notice that uh, EI equals one contributes to the soft weight. And uh, uh, the soft weight uh, is non-negative and uh, the soft weight equals zero if and only if the error pattern is zero. So the soft weight is equivalent to Hamming weight if all LRs are equal. So we can show that the maximum likelihood decoding is equivalent to the uh, minimum soft weight decoding. So the, uh, the intuition is uh, here, we know uh, the hard decision vector is the most likely vector, but may not be valid. So if we want to find a valid code word that, is, that maximize the likelihood, so we can uh, find uh, the closest one to the hard decision uh, in terms of the uh, something like the distance. Okay. They are equivalent. So there are two uh, ways to implement the uh, ML decoding. The first simple idea is to, uh, we call it guessing noise decoding. Uh, rather than the grind, because it is also applicable to other noisy channels. So the idea was also uh, mentioned uh, by Fasoria in, uh, in, in, in 2001. The idea is first generate the test error patterns on demand, so such that their softwares are non decreasing so check whether the TEP is valid so or not. So output the optimal search word. When, once, once when a valid uh, TEP is star is found. So it's an ML decoding algorithm. The idea is simple. So another way to achieve the <coughs> ML decoding is we call guessing code word coding. So there, are, so, uh, first we, we may need uh, an, an offline pre-processing. So if the uh, parity check metric is not of the system, uh, systematic form, we, uh, without loss of generality, we can assume the first n minus chi columns are linear independent, then we can transform H into a systematic form. Now, uh, a test error pattern can be written uh, into two parts, the left parts and the, R part, uh, and the right parts. So a valid TEP satisfy uh, 
the uh, the multi uh, uh, the multiplication uh, uh, between uh, the H and the L pattern equals the syndrome or E L equals S minus E R times P uh, transpose. So we only need to search E R. Okay, then we can use the following algorithms. Generate the partial TEPs on demand such that the software are non, non decreasing. So then we re encoding and uh, we update. So uh, in, during the search, we always keep the up to date lightest valid TEP with software gamma OPT among the searched valid TEPs. Okay? Then, if the software ER is greater than or equal to gamma OPT, we can definitely output uh, the code word. That is the optimal one. Okay. So let's see the complexity. So for GND, we first generate the uh, whole TP where the GCD generates a partial TP. So the complexity are comparable. For GND, we need to calculate uh, the, uh, this uh, uh, multiplication. And for GCD, we need re-encoding. They are uh, com uh, comparable. So for GND, we need to compare if the error pattern is valid or not. For GCD, we need to compare to real numbers. So they are also comparable. The GND checks TEPs uh, with non decreasing of the weights, but generates only one valid TEP. And uh, the GCD re encodes partial TEPs with non decreasing of the weights, but generates multiple valid TEPs. So this may, may find uh, other applications when uh, some, some, uh, s sometimes least decoding is required, okay? So the complexity of each guessing for GCD is not higher than that of the GND. So can a GCD be more efficient than a GND? The GCD is an ML algorithm. And the number of guessing of the, for the GCD is less than or equal to the number of guessing for the GND. So the, uh, here is the outline of the proof. So let's e start be the lightest, lightest valid TP, which is not known in advance, but exists. Then, roughly speaking, the GND needs search all TPs that are that are, are, are lighter than E star. Okay. In contrast, the, the GCT only needs to search all partial TEPs. So the latter is a subset of the former. So we have a more rigorous uh, proof for this. And uh, actually, we uh, if the red part is Greater than is heavier than the uh, the uh, the optimal one, then uh, the optimal one must be the ML one, because the red part is the weight is increasing, right? Okay, uh, see a picture. So we say uh, GND must explore all TPs satisfy. Uh, the uh, inequality and uh, the GCD only need to search all partial TPs. Okay. In other words, if the GND finds the ML code word at the L step, uh, the GCD must identify, must be able to identify the ML code word as the just step for some J is uh, less than or equal to L. Let's see an, uh, a toy example. 
we consider a Hyman code. The channel is a BSC channel, and the software is, in this case is equivalent to the Hyman weight. Okay. The GND finds the lightest, uh, lightest valid TEP with at most eight gases, one for the all zero TEP, and the seven for the uh, TEPs with Hyman weight one. Okay. The first gas is successful if and only if the true error pattern is a cold word. So with a probability we denoted by P0. Okay, the average number, then we can, uh, we will have a formula for, for the average number of gas. Okay, the GCD finds the lightest value TP with at most five gas. One for the all zero partial TP, and four for the partial TPs with high mean weight one. So the first guess is successful if and only if the TP obtained from ER equals zero by re-encoding has a high mean weight zero or one. The probability is P zero plus um, 3P1, so it's higher than the G GND. So here is the uh, average number of guessing. Okay, we, we have a plot, we see uh, in a wide range, so, so in the off range, so the uh, GCD need less number of guessings. Okay. Okay, let's see. We so we, we have a GCD algorithm which do not require sorting. They just require, just have a systematic form. So why we need ordered statistic coding? So uh, let, let's first review the, the OSD. So first order the reliability and permute the uh, re, the LLR, the hard decision and H, and uh, uh, correspondingly, so find a permutation matrix such that the first n minus k columns are linear independent. Then transform, then perform the Gaussian elimination, and uh, transform to uh, obtain a matrix in systematic form. Then search the partial TEPs. Uh, in the MRB on demand, re-encoding and output the search of optimal code word. Okay. So there are two ways to search the TEPs. The first way is the uh, Deutsch's algorithm in, in 1974. So in an order of non-decreasing of soft weight. And the Fosoria is in an order of non-decreasing high mean weight. So we talk about how to search uh, with uh, software, okay? As a special GCD, so uh, the, uh, my new uh, perspective on the OSD is that, so the sorting makes gamma is ER star as small as possible so that the E star can enter the list as early as possible. If the A star is not in the list, you, you, you have no way to find the ML code, right? So we only need gamma ER increase as fast as possible so that E star can be identified by the earlier termination criteria. Okay. okay. We, let, let's see an example for this example. Uh, the three algorithms can be uh, simulated, okay? First is the GND and the GCD and OSD. We say they perform the same because they, all they are ML decoding, okay? But the GND require uh, a greater uh, uh, average number of TEPs uh, searches, okay? And uh, the GCD 
uh, is less than and uh, the OSD requires uh, uh, the least um, number of uh, TEPs. Okay, here is a complex reduction, definitely a com co complex reduction. Okay, here it is not necessarily a complex reduction. Why? Because OSD need an online Gaussian elimination. So depending on the SNR, so in the high SNR region, here there is a reduction, complex reduction, because the G, uh, in the high SNR, no, no, in the high SNR, is the uh, um, is uh, GCD uh, is preferable. High SNR because we only need uh, uh, several searches and we don't need uh, online Gaussian elimination, right? So this complex reduction depends on the SNR. Okay. So two main issues of uh, ES OSD. The first is how to skip those. I'm promising uh, TEPs and how to reduce the complexity of the online uh, Gaussian elimination. Okay, so we propose an algorithm called uh, uh, OSD with uh, constraint with a local constraint. The idea is we consider an extended uh, basis, which. Uh, here we, we have k plus third positions. And then, so they must satis satisfy some constraint, right? Then we search. So we search partial TEPs over a trellis that specifies the constraint. Okay. So here we have a Gaussian elimination to transform the matrix into uh, a semi-systematic code uh, form, okay? Then the partial TEP must satisfy this equation. This can be represented by a trellis, okay? Then let, let's see the simulation result. So we simulate the extended BCIG code and uh, here is the uh, uh, performance. We see the algorithms uh, almost approaching the, uh, the lower bound, okay? And uh, here, uh, the, right, uh, the right figure is the number of searches. For OSD, we, we know. Uh, well, for this is for Soria OSD, so have a, okay, for, Partial, uh, th this is other, this is a work by, by Yue. And uh, here is uh, our algorithm. We need uh, less uh, average uh, search numbers. Okay. So we have also uh, investigated the relationship between the maximum uh, search and uh, for random code, okay, we say uh, as uh, the maximum uh, search uh, increase, then the performance improves, but uh, uh, becomes saturated uh, when uh, LMAX max equals, I guess, two to two, uh, two, two thousand some 
to to the eleven. Okay. Okay. But the random code, so the algorithm can, uh, 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 the algorithm can be applicable to random codes, but random codes uh, may not find uh, you. Uh, use in practice. So we uh, simulate uh, the algorithm for the uh, binary image of Red Solomon codes. And here is, uh, we can see the, uh, the code length is 31. So the binary image has code length uh, 155. So here is the dimension. And from dimension five to dimension Actually, all dimension we, we can simulate. The, and uh, here we see LC OSD is universal and the uh, solemn code is near optimal. Here, the red line is RCU bound. So I, I suggest, uh, I, uh, if someone asks me to how uh, use what short code, I uh, recommend red solemn code, binary image of red solemn codes. And uh, there is another problem for LCOSD is the uh, online Gaussian elimination. So the complexity is chi, uh, order of chi square times A. And uh, even worse, the GE is a serial algorithm. We need to do Gaussian elimination column by column. Okay, then we, we how to reduce the complexity of the online Gaussian elimination. Okay. Our idea is to instead to 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 uh, to find the algorithms. We think about how to construct a code that can be that that is easier for Gaussian elimination. Uh, that's our idea. This. This uh, this idea is uh, is also uh, in the patent application. Okay, so we see example for polar codes or red red uh, red molecules codes, and uh, they uh, possibly with column permutation uh, can be in this form we call staircase code. Uh, this staircase the width is tw is two. Two one one one. This is called profile. We call read uh, RM profile. Okay. Here is the staircase code. For this profile, we can randomize these elements here. Okay. So uh, we we we, uh, we obtain a large uh, family of codes. We call uh, stair staircase generator matrix code. Okay, for this code, we have, we call representative OSD. So, uh, first we form uh, an extended MRB, and uh, by selecting relative reliable bits, at least one from each staircase. The, the, the idea is from each staircase, we take the most reliable one. Then we can have a parallel Gaussian elimination. Okay, here is the uh, algorithm. And uh, first, we transform the state, uh, staircase generator max G, the, this column permutation. Okay, here is a low triangular. Uh, matrix with a uh, one on the diagonal, and uh, the Q1 is for the extra dirt positions. Okay, so uh, they, uh, this part is re is more reliable than the left part. Okay, uh, is locally okay. So here is locally reliable. Okay, then we can uh, we we can uh, do the Gaussian elimination uh, in parallel. So I, I didn't go to the Intel, but I, I want to see the matrix. So for this matrix, if this one is reliable, then this, we use this, then this, maybe. Then 
for traditional, for conventional Gaussian elimination, we need to column by column. Here, we need to row by row. And, uh, row, and uh, to transform, for example, this row into one, zero, row, zero, row, something. So we only need the first row. We don't need the, the lower part. So we can uh, perform in parallel. So the time delay is uh, determined by the last row. So that uh, is faster than uh, the GE for a uh, general, uh, general uh, matrix. Okay, here we show the uh, performance. So here is a polar code. And uh, polar code with ROSD or LCOSD, they have the same performance. And uh, this one is RM code. So it's better than polar code. Uh, this is as effective because he, the, the RM code has a, a good minimal uh, distance. Okay, here is a random uh, staircase code. So it's better than IM code. Okay. Actually, if to construct a code, we can optimize the profile. Right? Here is the number of search. So we see the ROSD need more search numbers than the LCOSD. It's also now, because the ROSD has a, has a base of uh, low quality. The quality of the base is not that good as uh, LCOSD. So it, it's a global, not, uh, it's a local, not global, okay? Uh, that's for the SGMC. So, uh, so earlier we, we have mentioned the Red Solemn code. The binary, uh, the, the, uh, binary uh, image of Red Solemn codes can also have a low latency decoding hours. So this, this we call quasi OSD. We relax the requirement for the MRV. So we, we, we just select based on the symbols. And for a symbol, we say a symbol is reliable than uh, uh, another symbol if the symbol uh, contains more uh, bits uh, in the high and most reliable bits, okay? If we rela relax the requirement, then we can use uh, Lagrange uh, interpolation to transform the matrix into this form. Then we can, this matrix can be mapped into the binary. Uh, they have a binary image, okay? Let's see the result. So the performance is the same, right? And uh, we need to, uh, uh, more uh, search, uh, more guess, guessings, okay? But in the high SNR region, okay, the QOSD is preferable, okay? I see, we, we see, we, we know uh, ML decoding is optimal only when the source is uniform. So if the source is not uniform, we may need uh, TICC. We may join to uh, source channel coding. And because, so for very short, for, for short message, we don't have efficient uh, compression uh, code. So uh, one way is to consider the uh, a priori probability when decoding. And that by simulation we found is not effective. So then we propose another method. We partition the whole message 
space into subsets. Okay. Uh, possibly depend, uh, uh, we, uh, according to their Hamming weights, okay? Then for encoding for any message vector, we use the, we call classified enumerative encoding. So first describe, describe the vector, the, the type i of the vector. So to show uh, which subset it uh, belongs to which subset, okay? Then we need uh, uh, this many bits, okay? Then describe the rank of the vector. So this is a compression code. If some high probability site has small uh, cardinality, so for bare source, so we can achieve this. Okay. Then, so this is a fixed to varied encoding. We need a multiple rate encoding, so varied to fixed. Okay, let's see the system, uh, the, 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 the block diagram. So here, we use a fixed to varied. So this has a variable length. Okay, this is optional, uh, optional. Okay, then we have varied to fixed. Then we, we can use read solemn codes, or IM codes, or random codes system because they are multiple rate. Okay. Then we how to decode? We guessing the type and uh, do the decoder parallel and uh, then compute the uh, output the optimal U. Here is the algorithm. Let, let's see the example. So we can see the, a source with uh, there's point uh, one one. So the the entropy is one half, right? Okay. So uh, it, uh, this is by I I I think is a, a joint decoding. So we consider the um, a prior prob probability, and uh, this use our method, we can see I have already uh, below the Gallagher GLCC bound, okay? So as a final application, so we know if we have a very short message, so we know coding is effective anyhow, because here the the curve is a, is a C style, right? So if the message is very short, no efficient coding, okay? We can use such idea. So if we have very short message, and we have also have a payload link, here the data, uh, we have many bits of data. But here we only have two extra bits for transmission. And this link is already built. And someone wants to say, oh, I want trans two more. How to do that? So one way is you redesign a code, right? And the other way is we can use superposition. We encode this very short message by Random uh, random coding. Then we superimpose this code word onto the payload code word in binary field. So we don't have to pay more uh, power. We don't have to pay more uh, bandwidth. Okay, how to decode? We guess. We guess the extra bits and. Uh, only one have a meaning decoding all the word. Some else, no, no meaning, okay? Then we can identify the extra bits. Okay, so the extra bit can be 
much more reliable than the payload lake. Okay, here is an example. We use LDP, LDBC codes. The uh, working uh, SNR is, uh, is 1.5, but in this region, here, the extra bit is already almost error free. Okay. And uh, the superposition does not affect the payload link, the performance of, of payload link. Okay. But we need more computation, right? Uh, that's uh, for a for very short message. And uh, the conclusion is GCD is an ML algorithm and is more efficient than the GND. And OSD is a special case of GCD. And uh, we have developed LC OSD, uh, representative OSD, and the C OSD. And uh, we, they can find uh, applications to GICC. Okay, we, have, we also have, we call the free ride coding for very short message. And uh, as a final remark, I want to say, no decoding algorithm is universally optimal in terms of complexity. So in the low SNR region, some algorithm is preferable. In the high SNR region, some is uh, some other uh, OSD algorithm may be preferable. So uh, as another example for polar codes, so you know. Uh, uh, increase the list is not a good choice in the high SR region, right? So that's all. Here is a contribution to this talk, and uh, now is my colleague, uh, Dr. Tsai Sui, uh, Sui Hua, and uh, my postdoc, and my PhD student. Thank you. Yeah. Wow. I mean, that's a fantastic talk. Um, I'm wondering, uh, you showed a plot showing how good the binary image of the Reed Solomon code was for a particular case, and it was better than the RCU bound. Is that your experience across the range of block length, sort of, for let's consider rate one half with? Mm -hmm. 64 to say k equals 256. Yeah, are you below the RC bound for that whole range? Uh, I, I think it's uh, it's con consistent. Uh, you, you even you you outperform the RC bound. Do you agree? So, but I I do find uh, some some uh, some uh, for some range the uh, the IS code is better than RCU. And uh, at, the, at the rate of one half, it, it seems difficult to, to achieve that. It's more difficult at the rate of one half. So we can see that. Uh, 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 is it the gap? Here, the gap. We have a gap. The hybrid code, the ice code is better. And this region is then with a big gap. Thank you. Other questions? I have a, I have a clarify. Oh, go ahead. But um, the, the question about the free write code. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. 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 It, it means that your uh, your uh, regular code has some spare margin to absorb that superposition. Uh, there must be some yeah. <laughs> okay. some space. So otherwise, you cannot add something. But for any finite length code, there is. image, if you add only one bit. Most time doesn't matter because you actually you choose you change the code. You you use a random superposition, but the code enlarged and with two corset plates 
two co two, two courses, right? Yeah, two courses. One is the original code, but the other is the, is the shift of the original code with random shift. So usually you can you can find the the, the, the one one bit without uh, with we cannot see the difference use your eye. So uh, yeah, my, and my question is uh, by the way, it's a very nice work. My question is, uh, have you considered the scenario that uh, you have the channel? Uh, let's say uh, I'm an end guy, right? so <laughs> you have an end page. Right? Most of the time you get the LR uh, or soft information uh, proportional to the you know, bar accuracy ratio. Right? And then, but some cells just behave strangely. Right? No, we will only consider uh, additive white Gaussian noise. And we, 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 we consider a stationary memory release uh, I mean, channel. Some cells that we call stuck at. Yeah. Always, uh, I, I think you need to change the, I, 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 I think you need to change the definition of the soft weights. There must be some, some to, to solve the problem, but uh, okay. Okay. It's erasure. I think it's like having an erasure channel. Uh, I think it's fading though. You know, how fading is that? It may not be okay, but it's good. We are only stimulating the beta losing channel. Yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is like uh, in some cases there are some hard errors. We call it hard errors, meaning that you get the wrong sign. <laughs> I see. Well, for some bits, uh, just a few bits, right? And for the rest of the, the code word, mm -hmm. they follow this ADGN or whatever. So that's a very typical uh, scenario. You can, you can play with the circuit and hardware and transistors. And, and so I'm wondering, uh, can we apply a similar idea to that kind of channel? I, I think you may need, uh, you, you need uh, uh, some enumerative coding. So for some bits, you can enumerate all the cases and then apply the algorithms and it should according to some rules. Okay. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.